Yes, and joining us is Miles Donnelly Shep, an owner of Lafrite, and here for the Texas or the Tasting Texas Wine and Food Festival. We were betting who was going to get it wrong. <laughs> you, won the, you won the bet. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. Thank you all for having me. All right. You specialize in mussels at Lafrite, right? Mussels. We have eight different types of mussels, but we're featuring a mussels marinier today, on the, which we'll be serving at the Texas Tasting Food, Wine and Food Festival. There you go. <laughs> I know. It's a mouthful, like these mussels are. Okay. All right. How do we get started? So we're gonna throw some garlic, some shallots, and a little bit of thyme in, the, in this bowl with the mussels that's already been pre-seasoned. Do I put butter in the pan? Hey, let's put it all in the pan mm -hmm. when uh, it's passed to you. That's perfect. In, all, all in the bowl? And all in the bowl, and then with the thyme. Does and all then, this butter go in? Uh, perfect. This amount? Yeah, sure, perfect. Okay, all right. And we're gonna pass it over to my And here we go. And Whoa, Nelly. I'm so glad you did that and not you were, me. You were kidding about that, were you? I, we are, we are stir, stirring and steaming today. Okay. Yes, we are. And okay. so how many restaurants are going to be participating? 100 different restaurants and bars will be featured throughout the whole event this weekend from Thursday to Sunday. All right, and you get to taste each and every one of them. And this is just about everything you can think of here in town as far as food, right? Everything from Tex-Mex to European fusion food. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, which, and... <laughs> hold on, Jake. Hey, what are you doing? We're trying to make sure we burn the place down. We, we got <laughs> muscles opening up. We have it all steaming in there. It's okay. looking great. Okay. A little bit of a mess here, but it's okay. okay. Anyway. So this is, of course, a big event for foodies, right? It's a huge event. We're partnering with the James Beard Foundation, and we're the only food, food and wine festival that's actually partnered with James Beard. And sort of, uh, in a way, part of culinary as the well, culinary right? as well. And the city of the Convention Bureau as well brings in all of these beautiful people with culinary. And we also are doing a little bit of a discount for everybody kind of oh, coming really? in. What is that discount? So we're doing a 20% uh, discount on all tickets throughout the festival. I do at the uh, <clears throat> at checkout. Mm -hmm. You put Tasting Texas in the in the promo little, code and thing. you will be getting that discount right off the bat. Okay. And how long have you been participating in the festival? So I've been doing the food festival uh, all 14 years of the restaurant. We've been in business 14 years and we've always been a part of the culinary festival in one way or the other. And this is a great way, I mean, because, you know, we always talk about so many times where it's like, what should we go, where should we go for dinner? I don't know, where are we going to go for dinner and all that to try something new because literally everything you said from uh, Tex-Mex to the Belgian French mm -hmm. cuisine and anything in between, right? Of course, and you know, you can maybe find your, local, your new local favorites throughout this whole entire adventure. Mm -hmm. Innovative fusion too. Oh. Yes, indeed, and this all gets going, you said, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow with some private dinners and then also we have it going <clears throat> throughout Sunday. Okay, and the whole kit and caboodle takes place where? La Vellita. So we're going to be down in La Vellita. There's a lot of other great little events happening in La Vellita as well, but to definitely stop by first before you get to the hemisphere. Okay, okay so we've got a, a cold-er day coming up. What is your favorite kind of cold weather food that you make for yourself? Mool, of course. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the frites, with the fries. With there. the frites, you know, it's all steamed and warm, and we're just in. It just warms your heart when you have that, that, that soup that's made with the steaming. Okay, where would you, what would be the first restaurant, I guess, other than your own, that you're going to go to if you wanted to taste something? So I really love Nona Osteria, and I love a lot of the other restaurants. <clears throat> you know, Jason Dades does a great job with all of his restaurants. And uh, Meadow as okay. well. He yeah. does, does an insane job with all of the South the southern cuisine that they do, so mm -hmm. we really like to just promote every single person in San Antonio. All mm -hmm. right. Fantastic. Okay. And don't forget about Lafrite, mm -hmm. I should say, because yeah. it is just such a great little place right down there on South Alamo. Kind of a kind of a yeah. romantic little place, if you will. So yes. okay. thank you so much for more information on tasting Texas Wine and Food Festival. Head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.